Yo guys, it's sorry you already know that today we're back playing some more Danganronpa 2. Uh, on the last episode, we had some nice free time, but then we had a little meeting at Jabberwock Park, where Monokuma introduced uh, an arcade machine that had a motive on it, but to our knowledge, nobody played the game. So we're going to go to the restaurant and see if everyone is still here. I... Ooh. I think everyone's still alive, but I'm not convinced. Uh, as if I have it out of my cottage, and I just so happened to bump into a certain someone. Is it Nagito? Oh, it's Fuyuhiko. So we still haven't seen Nagito. He's apparently tied up in the um, old building. Huh? Hmm? Oh, it's you, uh, Fuyuhiko. How unlucky. I have to see your face this morning. Hey, Just so you know, I don't want to talk to you at all. I'm in a really bad mood right now. It's not like you're going to the restaurant. It's not like you're going to the restaurant now, right? Were you planning to go somewhere else? Shut up. Like I said, I don't want to talk to you. I'm just going back to my cottage. Leave me alone. Where did you... Where were you before that? You say you're going back. Did you go somewhere? Hey, hey. <laughs> didn't I tell you I don't want to talk? Uh, is it that game? What? Oh, the, the game. Oh, what do you mean? So it's true. Uh, what do you have in your hand? Ooh, what's in that envelope? What's inside? Do you have to, like, beat the game to get a motive? Just shut up. What makes you think, uh, you have any right to question me? I'm not trying to question you. I was just... Are you saying, uh, you don't like the fact that I acted on my own without consulting you guys? Is there something wrong with that, huh? Are you going to tie me up like Nagito? Seriously, I didn't mean... Dumbass. Don't talk to me ever again. If you do, I swear I'll fucking kill you. That guy, he's going to be dangerous if we leave him alone. I should let everyone know, but I should be careful not to make too much trouble. Hmm. I feel like it is probably not the best idea to uh, make an enemy out of every single person that the majority of the group dislikes. Uh, we're going to end up uh, with a lot of tied up people in the in the thing. What's up, Pekko? I did see Fuyuhiko earlier, but it seems he isn't going to join us for breakfast today as well. I have some things I'd like to talk about. I think I'm going to go for a little walk. How many people are even going to show up for breakfast? I feel like not as many people as normal are going to be here. We already have two down. Uh, what about the people in here? Uh, I guess I'll see what they have to say. Well, Apparently Mikan has never played video games before. Hmm. She's certainly missing out on 90% of her life. Well, you know, uh, values vary from person to person. Nah, video games are life. Hajime, please listen to me. What? Shaki told me how to play a video game. She was so nice and attentive. And, and she even battled against me. <laughs> I'm so, so happy I was able to play with a friend. Thank you very much, Shaki. You think so? You don't have to thank me that much. I had a lot of fun, too. Hey, hey. If you like, do you want to battle one more time? <laughs> yes, yes, please. Oh, see, she likes video games. She just didn't play them before. She didn't have any uh, exposure to them. Mikan looks extremely happy. I guess Shaki has a sweet side, too. Oh, uh, look at them go. All right, let's go eat breakfast. Food is just as important as video games. Maybe not as much, but pretty close. Uh, ah, oh, nice timing. I've been waiting for anybody to come by at a time like this. Waiting, huh? Hey. I'm also thinking about delivering this. Is this someone's breakfast? Oh, yeah, probably to uh, Nagito. Ah, oh, is that for Nagito? <laughs> I mean, if we just leave him all tied up, he's going to starve. Hmm. Like, how long are they planning to continue this? Well, there's no way we can keep him tied up forever. Aww. Yeah, that's what I thought at first, but maybe it's better if he was tied up forever. Hmm, what does that mean? I actually went to see Nagito earlier. I kind of brought him breakfast. And then listen to this, he seriously pissed me off. Do you understand? He said he doesn't like rice, so he wanted toast instead. Doesn't he understand the situation he's in right now? So that's why you're running back and forth. That must be hard for you. Really? Hard? Do you really think so? Hey, hey! Then bring this to Nagito on my behalf. Huh? Gee. I was forced to run back and forth too many times. I'm done being his maid. And not only that, I just remember that I have a little business to take care of. Mm, everybody's acting kind of suspicious. Business. Thank you. So, thank you. I'll leave the rest to you. Mahiru uh, pushed the tray into my hands and ran away before I could object. Jeez, it's always something. As I recall, he's tied up in the old building where the murder took place, right? Uh, let's... Let's go. Oh, wait. I've never... I, well, I haven't been able to properly look around the restaurant in a while. So make sure there's no Monokuma's hiding. I don't see one. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. No. No, I don't see one. No. Okay. Let us go uh, outside to the old building. Look at you, Mahiro. You've gotten so far. 
Uh, it feels like Mahiru and Hyoka are going to do something that I don't really care about. Mmm, what are you doing, Kazuichi? Uh, Man, someone like me to sleep in. Uh, what's with that tray? Are you gonna eat somewhere with a nice view? Hey, hey, hey don't tell me. Hey. You're not gonna have a picnic lunch with Miss Sony, are you? It's not even lunchtime. This is breakfast for Nagito. Well. Oh, I see. Sorry to trouble with uh, taking care of him. If you really mean that, wanna switch with me? Hmm. Well, that's obviously a little awkward. <laughs> I'll let you handle how you mate. Yeah, fair enough. He totally ran away. Alright, let's go. I'm pretty sure everything's gonna be fine in here, but I don't know... Oh! Oh, oh my gosh. That actually kind of scared me. I don't know why. <laughs> no, no, no. This whole building is being renovated. You can't go inside. Wait, but... If I'm not allowed inside, why is Nagito inside? Well, you know about it too, Ajime? We all do. Hello? Because um... Nikamaru and Kazuichi earnestly told me that Monami's the only one we can rely on. And it's true that Nagito needs to reflect on his actions. He made to deliver food to Nagito. It counts as murder if he ends up starving to death, right? Hey. Starve? Hello, hello, hello. It's okay to go inside then? Get yes, make sure you, you tell him to chew thoroughly before he swallows. What is happening? I do not know. I'm. Yeah, where the murder took place, I'm just going to assume he's in the dining hall. So Nagito's hat up at the back. And safely, I gulped up my dried saliva. Why am I so nervous? I feel like he's either gonna be dead, which I doubt, or he's just gonna be crazy or something. I have no idea. Uh, I vigorously opened the door to the dining hall. As I quietly peeked through the door, I saw him on the other side. He was waiting for me with a big smile on his face. He does look he does look kinda crazy. Uh, could it be? Did you take time out of your busy day to bring some food to little old me? Yeah, my very busy day of wandering aimlessly around the island looking for dolls that look like Monokuma. Wow, I'm so happy. As you can see, I can't exactly greet you with my full hospitality, but feel free to relax. They're playing very creepy music for this. He was the same as usual. Unlike his smile, his words carried a certain heaviness. As if a black poison was falling out of his mouth every time he spoke, filling his surroundings with darkness. An illusion, but one I couldn't help feeling uh, at that moment. Huh? What happened? Your face looks kinda scary. I'm sorry. What? Are you a baby? That's actually a good point. Uh-huh. Oh, I get it. Friggin' Mahiru. That must be why she asked me to go instead of her. Oh, uh, what did you say to her? Yeah. Oh, did he talk her into going to play it? Okay. What, that you won't be able to play? It's not like you ultimates to ignore the threat that's standing right in front of you. So are you really planning not to play the game? Do you think Monokuma will uh, just let that slide? I don't know. If he sees that nobody's playing it, then maybe not. But I assume that some people are playing it. And if only some people are playing it, I think that'll be good enough in his book. Well, that is, you guys should confront it. After all, hope springs when you confront despair. He almost sounds reasonable. I don't think he's been that unreasonable. Like, I understand why everybody reacts to him the way that they do. Um, the way I see him is a little bit more meta because I'm, like, playing the game from an outside perspective. Um, I don't think he's been, like, overly unreasonable. He's just been a little weird and cryptic with what he's said and done, I guess. I don't know. Running away from your problems isn't a solution. I, I'm just putting it off. But... Yeah, how's he gonna eat? Hey, Hajime. <laughs> We're just gonna let him starve? Oh my gosh. Huh, damn it, I barely talked to him and I'm already not feeling so well. But I really can't stop thinking about it. It's really okay to just leave that game alone. While I'm doing nothing about it, someone else is... No, nothing good can come from thinking about it. There's something else I need to do. Aha. Uh -huh. There's something else I need to do? Hang out with people? 
Sure. Um, who do I even have to hang out with? Uh, we could hang out with Gundam, Sonia, Fuyuhiku. I don't know if he even will. Kyoko, Mahiru, Mikan, Ibuki, Pekka. All right, we actually do have a lot of options here. Uh, those are all the list of people that I have not hung out with uh, yet. Uh, let's see if anything jumps out from... Let's see. Seeds are the particular flower. Love facing the sun. Uh, they have a flavor somewhat similar to peanuts. Hmm. I do not know. Do you think Gundam's hamsters would like sunflower seeds? Is that like a thing? Uh, with a coconut tree motif. There's a custom on Jabwalk Island in which parents give to their children so they can one day pass down to their own kids. I mean, giving jewelry to, to someone like um, Sonia might be something. Uh, yeah, I think book for hints of Chico's. Yeah, this is easily like another gift for Chiaki, probably. Uh, wait, Pete, isn't Mesopotamia like a place? Oh, this is like a slinky. What? Made out of steel. You can play with it by dropping it down the stairs. <laughs> what? What? I'm going to give Gundam a slinky. That's all that's happening right now. Gundam. I, I don't know why I find that hilarious, but, um, that's what's happening now. And you can't stop me. Not presents. I need to find... I need to find where he is. He needs the slinky. Because I, I... I think it would... I... I think... I would find it funny. I also think there's a chance that he would legitimately like it. Whether for him or for uh, his hamsters. Uh, what do we got here? Oh, he's, he's chilling out here. All right, oh, right there. Boom, let's go. Gundam, do I have something for you? Yes, I have an excuse to hang out with Gundam. Let's go. It's time for me to make my next move. Even I can die of boredom. What should I do? Can I even hang out with someone like Gundam? Absolutely. <laughs> oh. So you're going to entertain me? I will. I spent time with Gundam today quizzing each other about animals. Looks like Gundam and I grew closer today. Would you like to give Gund Gundam a present? Yes. I would like to give you a slinky. Would you please humbly accept my gift? Uh, take it please. How foolish. However, my demon beasts are intrigued. Oh well, I guess I'll let you go with this. <laughs> yeah, that was a pretty good positive sound. I knew it. Oh, his hamsters are so cute. I love them so much. Whoa there. It's better if you don't get any closer than that. An automatic barrier is generated independently of my will. It's not like I'm getting close or even planning to get close. Let me ask. Which reminds me, there's something I haven't asked you yet. Uh, it doesn't matter that your temporary name is Hajime Hinata. Tell me your true name, fiend. Uh, what the heck is this true name thing? Like, my ultimate ability still? <laughs> so you're not foolish enough to tell me so easily. Fine. Then tell me your hidden name. I don't have anything like that. What? Then what is your special ability? There's no way I have one of those. <laughs> so you really are just a mere human. I suppose it can't be helped. Then let me talk to you about something that even a mere human can understand. What happened, sinner? <laughs> ask me anything. Oh, so I have to ask... However, it's free for you to ask, but make sure you try not to understand. If you flinch, you will die! <laughs> oh no, that's not serious. After knowing my true terror, it'll be quite a sight to see how long your sanity will last. Does he want to talk or not? Which is it? Talking to him is starting to get annoying, but he's totally ready and waiting for me. I guess I have to ask him something. Uh, what do you do with your free time, usually? Hmm, so you're interested in my lifestyle. Fine, then. I shall reveal a portion of that to you. Fine. Training, human hunting, craft spell, components, etc. Despite my looks, I'm quite the busybody. Huh. However, managing my website takes up the bulk of my time. Ooh, a website, okay. Huh? Shall we? Obviously, sources around the world are waiting to see my research results. Of course, my website has been magically enchanted to only, uh, so only the chosen, one, chosen ones can view it. <laughs> a mere human like you will only be able to access the dummy site uh, called Exciting Breeding Journal. I'd rather check out the Ultimate Breeders Exciting Breeding Journal anyway. Fine. Then, I'll make sure to show you. Well, if we ever get out of here, that is. Well, are you? there any other questions? Uh, what's your favorite food? Fine. Hmm. You certainly hit the mark well. I found of the orange melon which bears the face of the devil. <laughs> okay. Um, are you talking about a pumpkin? Oh! <laughs> I could not figure that out. Okay, alright, I like pumpkin. Yeah, let's go. There's no other food as high in nutrients, nor is versatile to a variety of cooking methods. 
More importantly, its seeds are the most effective food source for my four dark demons of destruction. However, you must carefully wash them, dry them in the sunlight, peel off the thin skin, and lightly fry them. I see, that sounds pretty difficult. Silence. Is there anything in this world that isn't difficult? Pleasure and pain are irrelevant as long as you have a purpose and take action for that sake. Ah, uh, you're right, that's exactly right. Gundam is hard to understand sometimes, but I do understand the intent behind his words. Somehow, even though it's only a little, I feel like I'm starting to get to know Gundam better. Let's go! After showering Gundam with questions until he was satisfied, he finally let me go. Hooray! And probably one more free time. It's still light outside, there's plenty of time left. Maybe I should try going somewhere. Um, or I should spend time with someone. Can I go play the game? I need to try and see if I can play the game. I think that's maybe even more helpful than uh than hanging out with somebody. I'm going to yeah, let's let's clean. Um let's give my pet a present, I guess. Uh you know, yeah, you want some water? Take some more water. You seem to not hate that before. Look at that. Now your hope is higher. All right. Um I wanted to look at uh the skills all right so i have five um if i hang out with somebody i might be able to get uh two more uh i can always come back and do this like right before a class trial i should wait um i want to see if i can go play that game maybe because it seems to in like it seems to be insinuating that i can either hang out with somebody or do something else and this feels like a once-in-a-game sort of opportunity where I can hang out with people any other time. Uh, and also, let's be real, I'm probably not going to like go through a full uh, free time event route with anybody because I'm just not uh, good at maximizing my opportunities. But I can always look those up online. I'd rather experience this firsthand. Should I or shouldn't I play this game? It might be necessary to know if the motive is hidden in here. I should do it after I think about it more. It's possible that the others might misunderstand. Oh, all right, all right. I, ha I had to at least try. Um, all right, let's look at my presents again. Let's start at the ones down here. Um, a wooden stick. Want to be found on the island because you encouraged to fight? Oh, oh, that's what unlocks Monomy mode. Okay, I did see that. I, um, I assume that I can do that at any time. Let me know if that's, like, a game or if that's, like, cutscenes. I, I don't entirely really know what that is. And I'm a little scared to, to click on it without knowing anything about it beforehand. A huge nothing can be found in nature. It's said to exist within a man's heart. It's said that consuming this will increase your power to pursue romance. I feel like Kazuichi would want that. Um, but I've already hung out with him before. Uh, present society, this disposable paper has many uses, such as blowing your nose, wiping away dirt, and wrapping with kindness. Huh. I I mean, it says about kindness, so maybe not, but I feel like I could maybe give that to Tioko since she's like a child that would need to blow her nose and wipe dirt from herself. I don't know. Um, what was Tuning Fork? Is a tuning master has power to destroy everything with its resonance in a pinch. You can also hang your laundry from it. I have no idea who to give that to. Um, you know what? Let's, let's find Tioko. That's someone to hang out with. I guess. I don't know how great of a time it's going to be, but we can learn a little bit more about her, I suppose. Uh, don't think she... Is that... Is that her at the market? I can't... I'm not good at uh, determining people's sprites here. But let's find out. Was that her at the market, or was that somebody else? I think she's the only one that has, like, the... Uh, pigtails? They're not really, like, pigtails, are they? What, whatever, like, these... Her hairstyle is. Let's see if she'll hang out. Why? Why are you talking to me? I would have been totally happy if you were in my room instead. What should I do? Should I hang out with Hyoko when she's acting like this? Huh. Man, people who can't read between the lines are the worst. Their lives are completely worthless. Even though I can't really read between the lines, I still try to call him Hyoko as uh, best I can. Alright, we still hung out. Take that. It looks like Hyoko and I grew a little closer. Or did we? Uh, yeah. Uh, small child. Hello. I have a tissue for you. Would you please accept this present? <laughs> Alright, I'm getting so much better at the the the, the minigame of, of gift giving within this game. Yay, yay! Hey, hey. This looks boring and shady and doesn't suit me at all, but I guess I'll act happy for now. Hey, hey. hey Hajime. I've been thinking uh, this ever since I first met you, but will you get mad if I say it? I'm not going to get mad at every time you say something to me. 
I see that I'm gonna say it. It's gonna be some really bad insult. Um, um, um I've been thinking this ever since I first met you. You have a shady looking face and you look like the kind of person who's too lazy to try hard. And not only that, I think you're so hopeless for coming after me like some pedo pervert. Uh, hold on. <laughs> I think I have a shady looking face, so well, I guess I can let that slide. But you better take back the last bar, when did I ever come after you? Huh? You said you wouldn't get mad. Uh, okay, but you didn't answer my question as to why you said that. Oh my gosh, she really is a small child. Crap, there's no way I can leave her alone when she's acting like this. Uh, sorry, I'm sorry I yelled at you, please don't cry anymore. Then, if you're really sorry, can you buy me the thing I like? Dude, she is just playing everybody around her so hardcore. I don't believe that any of the tears that she's ever cried are genuine. Maybe the ones around Mahiru, but I don't know. Ah, oh, what the heck? Ah, uh, fine. What I have to? Uh, what I have to buy you? Um, it's shaped like a star, and it's small, and it's cute, and it's sweet. She's probably talking about candy. She just want candy, right? I wonder if I saw any star-shaped ones. Wrong. It's not something that boring. It's smaller and cuter than normal candy. Oh, alright, so then she's probably talking about whatever these are? Do you mean con confe confedo? I don't know what that is. Uh, Hyoko nodded silently. Alright, well, at least she stopped crying. Then, do you want me to go buy it right now? Jeez. Just so you know, uh, you won't find that in the supermarket. Huh, really? Yes, yes. Jeez, Hajime, you're such a pushover. You totally promised me without realizing it was impossible. And you even got tricked by my fake crying. No, you definitely weren't faking those tears. I, I think she might have been. <laughs> Jeez, you're so hopeless. I guess I'll go easy on you and make you bring me something else. Let's see, go steal Sony's panties for me. Uh, no? Are you trying to make me a criminal? Bitch, bitch, bitch. Bring me Gundam's earring then. <laughs> and you better steal it. I don't want you to borrow it. Um, I don't think Gundam would let me borrow his earring anyway. You don't really want it, do you? You're just trying to make me suffer. So let me bring you a different snack. I'll get you something you like. Why? Oh, but they don't have anything cute there. I'm gonna have something cute like flower candies made with fine, refined Japanese sugar. You spoiled little brat. There's no way you can get those kinds of tr traditional candies here. Ah, uh, but just I thought you really do like... Uh, oh, wait. Uh, uh, just I thought you really do like traditional Japanese candy, huh? Hey, hey. Well, it's so elaborately made that it's practically art. They're so small and sparkly and cute. I love them so much. <laughs> Foreign sweets are made with too much sugar, so they're perfect for uncultured idiots. Wow. Are you insulting me as the player directly? How could you? If she hadn't said that last part, I would have been impressed. Well, this is Hyoko after all. I guess I just have to accept it. But I do feel like I understand Hyoko a little more now. Do I? I don't know if I do. Alright, well, uh, we got another hope fragment. So now we should have six. Uh, but again, we can hold off on buying a skill until before the class trial, I'm pretty sure. Um, Hyoko asked me to do the impossible things for her all day. Uh, by the time I return my cottage, I was wiped out. Yeah, I would be too. Up. Uh, Alright, is this nighttime or what? Uh huh. Okay. I can never trust these announcements anymore. Alright. I guess we're going to sleep. On any other night, I'd probably just go to sleep. But I can't stop thinking about that game. It's not like I believe what Nagito said. It's just not a good idea to leave it alone. Twilight Syndrome murder case, huh? I should give it a try. Just a little. Just to see how it is. Oh, I mean, I have to. I have to. I was thinking about in the, ending the episode, but no, I have to. I have to go play this game. If I even can. Uh, dude, I never feel like I'm turning the right way, so I want to go this way. Hmm. What do we tell Chiaki? Huh? How are you going at this hour? The Monica announcement was just made. Well, you know, what about you? What are you doing? Hey, hey. I was about to go back to my cottage. Anyway, what about you? What do you mean, you know? Ah, uh, um, I felt a little hungry, so I was thinking about getting a snack from either the restaurant or supermarket. Hmm. I see. So I'll be going now. See you later. Huh? Yep. Good night. I'll see you tomorrow. I feel like she totally saw through me. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like this isn't going to end well for us. Someone's going to, like, see us as we go to play this game. But, um, you know, it is what it is. Nobody can stop us if we just teleport there. Then we can't walk by anybody. Someone's going to be there, though, I bet. Calling it. Could it be Mahiru? Or did she already play it? Uh, So here I am. Doing everything I can. 
pretending I'm a Superman. I think I skipped a line. Uh, if, the, if the game turns out to be dangerous, I'll just stop playing it. Uh, so I should just go for it. So we can't play it in the middle of the game because people might get the wrong idea. But, oh boy, we can play it at night where people are really going to get the wrong idea. I guess for now I should try playing it a little. I cautiously stood in front of the arcade game and the screen automatically lit up. As I face the screen, I put my hand on the joystick. I feel like something scary is going to happen. Um, and then somebody's... Another actual person is going to be there, like right at the end of the game, is work of nonfiction. And you're just a real person who's living or dead is purely intentional. <laughs> That's not something you ever see. Alright, this game has a strange old fashioned vibe to it. I wonder, is the person who's controlling Monokuma actually pretty old? Oh, well, I should probably try to start it up. Uh, it'll start if I press the start button, right? Uh, let's begin the Twilight Citadel murder case. Please press start the button with your own hands. Oh my gosh, we actually get to, like, play the game. Oh, second day. What happened during the first day? Girl A. Ah, it's already late. I'm gonna be late for our meeting. Everyone's waiting. I gotta hurry and go. If I'm late, everyone's gonna hate me. Um, they're waiting in classroom 1A. Alright, we are moving. That's, uh, the preparation room. We've got... Oh, I can run! Let's go! Oh, I can pause. Uh, okay. 1A. Man, you're finally here. You're so late. What were you doing? Uh, I'm sorry. If you're angry, I'm sorry. Um, don't be mad. We're not angry. Just hurry up and get over here. Okay. I should go talk to Girl B for now. Okay, let's talk to Girl B. Um, we're here because you had something important to say, right? What's this about? Obviously it's about yesterday's incident. Hey, you already saw the newspaper, right? Yeah. Huh? What newspaper? God, you're such a slowpoke, Girl A. It's in today's evening newspaper. Oh my gosh, those are big strides. This one, here you go. Just read it. Uh, July 8th at around 6 a.m. A janitor from XX Academy came to work and discovered the body of a female high school student in the music room on the second floor. The student had been struck forcefully in the head with a blunt object and it was already dead. It seems the killer broke a window to escape. Based on the details of the crime, authorities say the investigation is ongoing and believes someone may have snuck into the school to commit the act. Interesting. I was a little surprised. I never expected it would make the newspaper. It says someone may have snuck into the school, so they might be thinking about uh, thinking that a pervert did it. It is the only lead they have. I mean, her school swimsuit did get stolen, too. That sick, twisted bastard. Sneaking into a school to steal a swimsuit, killing a nearby girl, and escaping out the window. Yeah, we're all in danger, too. But is this really okay? We were the first ones to discover the body, and we kept it a secret. It would have been the same no matter who found the body first. Don't worry about it. It's not like we have anything to hide anyway. That's right. All we did was find a body and not report it. That's not really a crime. Uh, uh, I think it uh, might be. I don't know. But still, I know you're a masochist, but there's no way I'm going to get involved in this. I'm finally a student at this academy. There's no way I'm getting expelled over something like this. Right? Isn't that right, girl D? Yeah, I agree, but... Uh, what's up? You don't seem so sure. Um, I actually have something to discuss with you guys. Uh, girl D, I wonder what's going on. What do you want to talk about? Girl D, what's up? To be honest, I, I ended up taking several photos of her yesterday. Are you talking about her body? I thought we might get questioned by the police, so I thought I should take them just in case. <laughs> okay. Where are those photos now? I have them right here. What? I don't want to look at them. Why are we looking at photos of a dead body? We're definitely going to get cursed. Cursed? Stupid curses aren't even real. You seriously need to throw away those photos. Give them to me. Uh, hey! Yeah, rip them up. Not surprised. This is bad. If you rip it like that, the curse... It is a curse don't exist. Better just rip these photos to shreds and throw them into the incinerator. Girl D, if you have any digital copies, you need to erase those too. Okay. Hey, girl D, what happened? Why do you sound so desperate? Never mind. Let's just forget about the whole incident. We had nothing to do with it, and we weren't the first ones to discover the body. Okay, the end. Seriously, let's just go home already. Come on, it's getting late. Fourth day, ooh. Uh-huh. Oh, now we're going into the preparation room, I guess? It's already late. The hardest part of being in the archery club is changing clothes. It was probably gone back by now. Then I guess I have to go back on my own. Uh, I think this is around the time that the incident occurred, too. Oh, no. He's why I think about something so stupid again. That's right. I just gotta hurry up and forget about that incident. Oh, no. I won't let you forget. Oh, no! Huh? I won't let you forget. Who's there? Where are you? I won't let you forget. I won't let you forget. I won't let you forget. Forgive me? 
Forgive me. Never, 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 never. I will never forgive you. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Is that the end? No. Okay, there's more. I'm trying to start figuring out how this relates to uh, a potential future murder in in the not video game world. Uh, ah, girl, I, or yeah, not the Twilight, whatever this game was, world. What happened? Did something happen? This is bad. This is really bad. Uh, her head is split open like that one time. It's probably the curse. It's the curse. It's all the curse's fault. Because of the curse, girl E. What happened to girl E? Take a look in there. Class in 1B. Oh no, I don't want to. Wait, is this. Where's the class in 1B? That's. Uh, first floor. Oh, nope. I mean, is this class in 1B? No, here we go. Here's class in 1B. Clatter, clatter, clatter. Oh, that looks like kind of realistic. Game over. Down five. Huh. What do you mean, game over? We didn't even do anything to win. Huh? This is the end? Wait, now it's game over for some reason. I don't get it. Even the game structure doesn't make sense. It started with the second day all of a sudden, then jumped forward uh, to the fourth day afterwards. Why were the first day and third day, day skipped? And what's with this down five message on the game over screen? Down five. Who's down by five? What the heck is this? I don't get this at all. How would this be the motive? Is this what it's like to play a crappy game? For now, it's a waste of time to stay here, so I should go back to my cottage to think about it. Oh no, we're going to run into somebody. Hmm? I went back to my cottage feeling hazy and disoriented. As I tried to think about why I felt so strange, I fell asleep without realizing it. Okay. Okay. I really thought we were going to get caught. I guess not. Hey, um... Life isn't just about moving forward. When confronted by an important question, it's good to stop moving and take your time thinking about it. For example, my stomach hasn't felt well all morning, so I ran to the restroom as soon as I got off the train. But right when I was about to enter, an important question stood before me. Life is like that every now and then. Suddenly, an important question gets in your way. The important question that stood before me was the gentleman sign on the restroom door. As I resisted the overwhelming urge to poop, I thought about it desperately. Am I really a gentleman? Do I have class? Am I honest? Am I faithful? No, why am I even hesitating? Of course I'm a gentleman. A regular person wouldn't last five minutes resisting the urge to poop, but a gentleman most certainly would. Filled with pride, I ran into the restroom meant for the gentleman, and what awaited me was... Another important question. The important question that stood before me was the western style and Japanese uh, si style signs on each door. I was definitely born in Japan, but haven't I forgotten what makes clean, beautiful Japan so good? Do I have enough confidence in myself to take a Japanese style poop? As you can see, there are always important questions waiting for you. That's, that's what life's all about. Okay. Sure. That was the worst one so far. Alright, is it it's just a good morning? Uh huh. Good. good morning. All right, cool. Now, let's... let's do it. Go to the restaurant again. Morning, huh? In the end, uh, that game is still a mystery. I don't even know why it would be a motive. I should bite the bullet and try discussing with everyone. I guess I should have, head over to the restaurant. All right. Um. Well, we played a game within a game. We had uh, plenty of free time. We did a lot of stuff this episode. I think we're getting close to something happening. Uh, I assume we're going to bring up the video game and then. Either other people are going to get mad at us for playing it, or other people are going to be like, yeah, we all played it already anyway. So, or a mix of both. And uh, we'll see what happens. Um, or we'll show up and somebody's dead. But I don't know. Maybe that'll happen later today. We're definitely getting close. And I'm pretty excited. So hopefully you guys are excited as well. If so, let me know. And I'll see you on the next time. Until then, peace out.